Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. Right, in this video we looked at the basics of our rectangle tool to create the kind of structured boxes for our website. What we're going to do now is do a bit of a session where I go through and add all the boxes. You can watch this at double speed or skip it if you want to. What I'm going to do is I got my first box here. What I'm going to do is just duplicate this box over and over again for the different areas. So I'm going to use my trick to select it, hero graphic. I'm going to hold down Alt and drag it down. I'm going to hold Shift at the same time and it kind of snaps it all the way underneath. Okay, and with this graphic here, I'm going to call this one and um, I'm going to open up this tool here, my properties panel. And I'm going to pick this one. This is this kind of pinky color, peachy color. And this one, instead of that, it's going to be called the box who we are. I had box at the front just to make it clear from a distance uh, what I'm looking at the kind of structured boxes. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to drag him underneath and he is I'm using properties panel. Here's the dark purple. Okay, and he is box. Here's the services box. And hold him down, drag him down, and he is going to be the box for our portfolio. We've kind of run out of the edge of our pages. Let's change the color of him first, actually. He's that color. Now we've run out of the edge. What we can do, remember, is grab our artboard tool, make sure we're selected on the desktop version, and I'm going to drag it down. Now, how far to drag it down? I've zoomed out a little bit. Who knows at the beginning? Okay, it's not until you get all your content on there, you know how big it's going to be. So I'm going to oversize it. Okay, for the moment, make it nice and big, and then I'm going to go back into my move tool. I'm going to click on him. Okay, so box portfolio, and I'm going to hold down the Alt key, drag it underneath. And actually this chunk in here is going to be a big white area. It's going to have my um, people or team area. This last bit here is going to be the green. And this one here is going to be calls my contact form. And then just underneath it, drag it down. I'm going to have this last one is one of the non-official colors. Okay, just one of the, like a dark gray for my footer. Now it's a little big, so what I'm going to use is my transform tool. So Command T, remember, Command T, and I'll make it a little smaller. That's going to be my footer. Now I kind of have a rough idea of the page height. I'm going to suck it back up using the artboard tool. Click on this top one here, and it should snap to the bottom there. Back to the move tool when you're finished. Okay, now that I've got the desktop done, I could move everything across to my mobile version and start laying that one up. What I find, it's a lot easier to work on one and then, once you've completed one and finished and worked all the bugs out of one of the views, is to then start on, say, the next one and then work onto mobile. Now, a lot of people start with mobile first, okay? If that's the priority for their website, it's definitely the way to go. There's definitely a lot more challenges getting everything ready for mobile. For me, primarily my site's being used as desktop, so I start with desktop. Now, I love to share, so I made a few of these videos free. Of course, though, I'd love for you to go on and do my full course of over 50 videos. There's a discount code in the description. Please like and subscribe, and hi to our good YouTube people. Now, I'm saluting and waving, but you can't see that, can you?